Hi, I'm going to show you how to throw a kick football. Here's our problem. A football is kicked at an angle of 37 degrees with a velocity of 20 meters per second. I'm showing the drawing. Here's the 37 degree. And here's our problem. Calculate the maximum height to be the time of travel before the football hits the ground. Let us see how far away it hits the ground. Solution. First, we resolve the initial velocity into its component. In x component, we multiply the v initial, multiply by cosine 37 degree, which is equal to 20 meter per second, multiply by, multiply by cosine 37 degree, which is equal to 16 meters per second. And for the y component, we multiply the v initial, the sine 37 degree, which is equal to 20 meters per second, multiplied by third sine 37 degree, which is equal to 12 meters per second. And now we're going to solve for the maximum height. But first, we need to find the time, which is equal to Vy initial divided by the gravitational force or the A or acceleration, which is 12.0 meters per second divided by 9.8 meters per second squared, which is equal to 1.22 seconds. That is our time. Now we're going to solve for the height. By using this formula, y is equal to v sub y is 0 multiplied by time minus 1 half a t squared. Now we're just going to plug in the, the value. This is the answer for the maximum height. So for letter B, which is they looking for the time of the travel before the football hits the ground. To find the time it takes for the ball to return to the ground, we consider a different time interval starting at the moment the ball leaves the foot, which is equal t is equal to zero, and y initial is equal to zero. And ending just before the ball touches the ground, y is equal to zero again. We can use the equation y is equal to y initial plus by initial times time minus one half g g times t squared. Now we can start solving for the time by plugging in the value this, this equation can be easily factored by taking out the t or 1 half 9.8 meter per second square T minus 12.0 meter per second which is equal to 0 there are two solutions which is T is equal to 0 which considered to the initial point Y of 0 and T is equal to 2 times 12.0 meter per second over or divide by 9.8 meter per second squared which is equal to 2.45 seconds note the time t is equal to 2.45 seconds for the whole trip is double the time to reach the highest point calculated in letter a that's what we do here that is the time to go to <laughs> for the letter C how far away it hits the ground the total distance traveled in the x direction is found by applying 
the equation x is equal to vx sub 0 times multiplied with time is equal to now plug in the value and calculate it using your calculator and this is going to be your distance how far away it hits the ground which is equal to 39.2 meters